guys and welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a review on the famous match your mother's line so in today's video i'm going to give you my thoughts on the um the shampoo conditioner mousse and cream and i'm also going to be doing a tutorial on how i apply the products and then my finished result so if you're interested on um knowing more about this line and how i feel about it and just keep on watching okay so i'm going to start off with the shampoo and conditioner the shampoo claims that it's gently cleansing and hydrating for enhanced curl retention and it has um rice in it so it says that it's gentle it restores and it provides elasticity and this is also sulfate so free silicone free and damage free um, shampoo and then the conditioner is the same thing except it says that it's lightweight and frizz free and it's also a leave-in so you can leave this in your hair okay so my thoughts on the shampoo and conditioner are um the shampoo it's a good shampoo i'll say that it's very um it does the job with removing like all the buildup and stuff. Um, it does tend to leave my hair a little drier than I like, um, but I'm used to the Diva Curl. And Diva Curl, you know, it wouldn't like scrub off everything. So I still had some of my natural oils. But you know, that's not always good because you do want to do at least like once a month a. Um, like a deep deep clean and use sulfates on your hair believe it or not because then you have buildup so for an everyday um shampoo there's other ones that i like better but you know for once in a while it's okay so that's my review on the shampoo and now the conditioner oh my gosh this conditioner i actually like a lot i think this is like my second bottle um Yes, this conditioner, for whatever reason, every time I use it, my hair looks the best. Like, I actually think that I would, back then when I would wear Diva Curl, I would go back and forth between the conditioners and I found that whenever I would use this one, my hair would be curlier. Hmm. Um, it doesn't moisturize it though, like how the Diva Curl one used to. So it's not as moisturizing, but it makes your hair curlier. So I'm guessing that it has some type of protein in it. Um, but yeah, now for moisture, I use the Shea Moisture um, Manuka Honey line for moisture and this one for protein. Okay, so now let's go on to the styling products, my favorite. Okay, so the two styling products I'm gonna be using in today's video are the Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse and the Kinky Mousse Curl Defining Hair Cream. So let's start off with this one. Okay, so if you're looking for a cream that has strong, strong hold and will define your curls, this is not for you. This is more of like a lightweight um, cream. It kind of gives like a beachy, Feel. It doesn't really like hold on to your curls and make them pop. Um, I think if you want one that makes your hair pop, um, the Cantu line is really good. And that one can be heavy, but if you go light, it really gives your hair um, maximum definition. So this one is good if you want more of like a beachy, a beachy kind of look, like a Shakira kind of look. But if you're looking for maximum definition, not for you. However, the mousse, bruh, the mousse is my favorite mousse of all time. The mousse, it says that it's a two hold. No, I think that this is more like a four hold because when I don't um, diffuse my hair and I let it air dry, bro, my hair is like, like super, super crunchy. <sighs> yeah. The trick with super crunchy hair though is you just you let it air dry and then you you go back in and you go touching it and scrunch it and then but anyways back to the curl top so it says lasting shine and definition humidity protection for frizz free curls so yes i do believe that this does give shine and definition and i do believe that it is humidity protectant 
Um, yeah, this one, I, I, I give this like a five star. And it also says that it's soft and touchable, which is true. My hair is very soft, yet it's still retaining the, um, the curl pattern. Usually if you get like a mousse that has a soft, um, touchable feeling, your curls kind of like stretch out. This one, no. This is the best mousse. So out of everything in this whole line, I definitely recommend investing in the mousse. This is, again, my favorite product. Okay, so yeah, now I'm going to go on and show you guys how I apply the products and then my final look. All right, and welcome to my bathroom. Okay, so I washed my hair last night with the three in one shampoo, I mean, conditioner and then the shampoo, but my hair is dry, so we're working with second day hair. The first thing that I like to do is wet my hair. So I'm just going to be taking a spray bottle and I'm just going to dampen my hair. Over your hair to make this noise. My back is still dry, so I'm going to just wet the back then. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be doing, so I wet my hair, now I'm going to be taking the Not Your Mother's Kinky Moves Curl Defining Hair Cream. And my hair gets way down really easily, so I'm only gonna be taking this much. I'm gonna go like this, and then praying hands, just go down. And then other side. And then whatever is left over, I'm going to put it at the top. Now that that is done, I'm going to be taking the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. I'm gonna be taking about that much. And again, working ends first. And with whatever is left over at the top. Okay, so now that I have the product in, I'm going to be taking a brush and I'm going to brush my hair to evenly disperse the products. Don't worry about your curl pattern right now. We're gonna fix that in a minute. Taking a turvy twist like this. So it looks like it's very soft on the hair. You can get this at your local drugstore, Walmart, Amazon, anything. And I'm going to be scrunching my hair with a turvy twist, like this. Can you hear the noise? And then flip it, and same thing. And now it is time to diffuse this mess. I have my diffuser right here. I'm just using a typical diffuser it's by Paul Mitchell. So I'm going to start off with the lowest setting and I'm not going to touch my hair. I'm just going to go around it and then I'm going to work my way up. That my roots are dry, I'm going to use the diffuser and I'm just going to kind of lift up and just keep it there. Okay, so now that my hair is about 75% dry, it's mostly crunchy. What I like to do is go back in with the Turby Twist and I'm gonna scrunch it while blow drying it and that's just going to maximize the curl definition. Is dry this is what it's looking like you see back looks like okay so now I'm just going to take a pick and kind of fluff it out and I'm just going to focus 
on the top. You can also do this with your hands, but I prefer a pick. And you're just going like one, two. Okay. And this is what we are left with. And that is all for this video. So this is my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any requests, just leave them down in the comments below. Or if you guys have any comments or concerns, I'll try my hardest to get back to you. So I hope you guys all have a blessed day and thank you for watching.